Canberra school children are being put in control of one of the world's largest satellite dishes to learn about space. The Pulse at Parks project allows the Year 10 students to scan the skies looking for stars known as pulsars. Carl Smith reports. Six brave pioneering students looking to the stars. These 15-year-olds are in control of Australia's largest satellite dish. There's a couple other kids in my class that had futsal on today and they were really jealous that they couldn't come to it. Time will start time above. From their command centre in Canberra, they're remotely manoeuvring the park's observatory dish. It's 64 metres across and one of the biggest in the world. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming the park's the dish and now. Canberra's honeysuckle dish were used to receive some of the first footage from the moon landing. That's one small step for man. Exactly 45 years later, 16 Year 10 students have been specially selected to take part in this new project. It's a fusion of real scientific research and high school education. At the moment we're looking at pulsars, which are remnants from supernovas in space, and they send out little pulses, I guess, to the radio telescopes. We haven't simplified things at all, they're using the same, uh, they're inter interacting with the telescope in the same way, using the same equipment, and uh, doing similar science to what we're doing. We're the nominated. And they're among the youngest people ever to control the giant dish. I believe that the youngest we've ever had running the park's dish were year sevens. Um, but they needed a bit of hand-holding, but it worked out rather well. The project is part of the citizen science movement, getting untrained enthusiasts involved in understanding the universe. We can seriously say to our students, you'll be making a real contribution to, to scientific discoveries. The astronomers hope projects like this will provide giant leaps for their research, but it's just one small step for these students. Carl Smith, ABC News, Tidbinbilla.